Hey everyone, it's me! The Queen! <laughs> I'm just ordering a day caller for my submissive, Liz Truss. Um, how is everyone doing? <laughs> Fuck. This is, this is a bad start to a stream. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna quit the stream and start the whole fucking thing over again. This sucks. I beefed it. I beefed it so bad. <laughs> uh, Jesus Christ. Uh, I am actually ordering a day. No, that doesn't matter. Let's say hello to the, um, the chat. Three barrels of water. Hello. Welcome to the stream. Shield wall space is always a pleasant, a pleasure to have you here. Fay Haven, hello. Uh, Chiba T Ghost Koo. I hope I said that okay. Welcome to the stream. <laughs> I was gonna say hi to Nightbot just then. Then I remembered it's Nightbot. But you know what? Nightbot deserves a hello as well. Welcome, Nightbot. Uh, thank you for your, all your service. Uh, Spark That Bled. Cool username. Uh... Survived. Hello, welcome to the stream. Aled Pink, Drow Lesbian, Steely Hands, Howdy, and <laughs> please talk about the Liz Trust BDSM sub allegations. God, I'm trying to, guys, I'm trying to practice Shadow of the Colossus speedrunning here. I'm trying to practice Shadow of the Colossus speedrunning, and you're asking me to explain about Liz Trust, Liz Trust Day Caller. Okay, fuck. Shield wall space, thank you very much for gifting five subs to the community. Mezo Zydeco, Pillbug Hug, Serotias, Dolcet, Dolcet Operator. Dolcet Operator? Fuck. Uh, Bar. Now that's a much harder one. Barry Monst. No? Barry Monster BK. I got it. <laughs> All of you now have tier one subs, which means you can use cool and sexy emotes like CIA femboy and such. Um, let's go look at the Liz Trust day caller really quick. This is not me. I learned a new Twitch word, stunlocked. This is not me being stunlocked. This is me pursuing my normal interests. This is just me living my best life. No one accuse me of being stunlocked right now. Okay, Liz Trust always wears this. <laughs> now, even better than that, she doesn't always wear that, right? She wears different necklaces that always have an O-ring, which in the BDSM community is a <laughs> is referred to as a day collar, right? Because it's like, at night, <laughs> you wear a different collar, right? But jewelry that's like a chain, and then you've got a little, a little ring on it, right? It means you belong to someone, basically. That's what it's there to signify. And people have noticed that she always, 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 always wears <laughs> chain necklaces with an O-ring on them. <laughs> always. I just, if we want to like, if we want to like, look, 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 listen, listen up. I don't want to, this isn't a niche thing. This isn't a niche thing, okay? This isn't a niche thing. I'm buying one for someone right now. <laughs> That's a coincidence. That just happened to be, this is just bad timing on the stream right here. Uh, but Liz, Tr the best response I saw to the Liz Trust tweet, where they first pointed out, that it looks like she's wearing a day collar, was someone said, somewhere there is a Tumblr Dom half her age rubbing his dick raw comparing himself to Rasputin. <laughs> Which is just a beautiful image. Just incredible. Um, uh, part one, a look at the necklace. What is all this about? What, hang on a second, hang on a second. Is this a TikTok? Is someone ticking and talking? My new favorite stupid conspiracy theory is that Liz Truss, the new Prime Minister of the UK, is secretly a collared submissive. This theory comes to us from Twitter user Eve Stradial, excellent username by the way, who uh, 
is a little suspicious about Liz Truss's choice in jewelry. Wait a second, wait a second, wait a second, wait a second. Wait a second, wait a second, wait a second, wait a second, wait a second. Wait a second. I just realized we should be doing promo here if we're gonna be talking about Liz Truss. If we're gonna be talking about Liz Truss Day Caller. I, f I beefed it. I beefed it, I beefed it, I beefed it, I beefed it. I should definitely tweet that that's what we're up to uh, so that everyone can join in, can join in on the fun. Cool. That's my go live tweet, there it is. And now we're talking about the Liz Truss day caller conspiracy theory because hell is real. There we go. Okay, let's catch up with let's catch up with chat before we watch this TikTok. Uh, more like Liz Sus, true, very true, extremely true. Um Ba, 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 ba. Stream is frozen, but I assume the rest of the stream is seeing Liz Truss in full leather. What? What is happening? Her dom getting some of that Liz Trussy. Oh no. Oh no. Uh, she could have had the trans community on her side with this. However, she failed by being a Tory and a turf, and that's the dolls are using the expertise against her. True. True. Okay. Uh, this is certainly some stigmatized knowledge I've just been made aware of. Extremely true. Hey, chat, uh, as I alluded to a second ago, I am a bit of a Twitch noob. I do have a concern that I'm gonna get myself banned on Twitch because I'm aware that like, even when, even when members of a marginalized community use slurs that are against a marginalized community, like about themselves, right? That they can get banned on Twitch. Like it's not meant to be how it works, but people, but it happens. And I just got this tattoo. <laughs> I just got this tattoo. Let's, let's change the fucking, I can't move close enough to the camera to make this work. I just got this tattoo <laughs> and I'm just worried that my like presence on camera <laughs> is gonna like, <laughs> is gonna like ruin my Twitch channel. <laughs> well, hang on, I didn't show up for long enough. Everyone, every, I wanna show off my tattoo. There we go. Everyone, everyone enjoy, everyone enjoy. If anyone was wondering why I'm suddenly such an expert on, um, on, on, on day callers. Um, <laughs> let's watch the, let's watch the, hang on a second, hang on a second. It's not full size, why isn't it full size? Window capture, display capture. Why isn't it full sized? There we go. Uh, only film yourself from the right side might be what I have to do. Um, okay, 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 let's watch the TikTok. Based my new favorite stupid conspiracy theory is that Liz Truss, the new prime minister of the UK, is secretly a collared submissive. This theory comes to us from Twitter user Eve Stradial, excellent username by the way, who uh, is a little suspicious about Liz Truss's choice in jewelry. Basically, Truss wears the same necklace in a lot of, if not most of, her public appearances. You can see it here on her in a variety of different outfits. It's just a simple gold ring with a chain attached to it. And that design, the ring attached to a chain, is very similar to the design of a lot of day collars, which is something that uh, the S in a DS relationship would wear if they've committed to wearing a collar, if not 24 seven, pretty close to it, but are in a situation where it isn't socially acceptable to wear a goddamn collar. Like, oh, I don't know, making a public appearance as a member of parliament. Initially, I was skeptical of this because there are pictures of her from pretty recently where she's wearing a different necklace that doesn't have this design. But uh, this this other one she owns is like particularly <laughs> egregious, and I'm kind of a true believer now. Like, am I saying that Liz Truss, the new prime minister of the United Kingdom, is definitely 100% 
a collared sub in a 24-7 DS dynamic? No. But is it more funny to go around claiming that she is? Yeah. Yes. Yeah, yes. Yes. Is. Yes. Yes. The answer is yes. Absolutely. Okay. Well. Yeah. These folks are just like. This is just the eyes wide shut party is, is leaking. The eyes wide shut party is leaking. Everyone knows. Everyone knows that the exact same kinds of sex and relationships that these fucking freaks play into, like the stigmatization of. They are also doing twenty four seven at the like Davos like. Davos Underground. abso fucking lootly. <laughs> I think, um... I think I believe it. I think I just believe it. It is kind of all the time, though. It is for real kind of all the time, though. Like, it is kind of for real. All the time, though. So, like... There's another conspiracy theory about Liz Truss, actually. There's actually another conspiracy theory about Liz Truss. <laughs> because the last person that the queen, R.I.P. and Pies, shook hands with, Reese Mogg is a dom. <laughs> oh. uh, the last person that, that uh, dear old queen shook hands with before she popped her clogs, before she, uh, as Alex Jones excellently put it, went into hyperspace, uh, was Liz Truss. Ah, oh, my skin! Ah! There we go. That's fine. Hey, look, the design came off on the second skin. <laughs> Isn't that fun? Anyway, um, I have, I have such rancid vibes on this stream right now. This is <laughs> this is such bad vibes. <laughs> The Elizabeth entity has now passed a trust and will root, rule England for another thousand years. True. Extremely true. Um, listen, I... I'm no fan of the monarchy. Uh, I don't make that a secret in the slightest. I'm not gonna say I even... I'm not even gonna uh, like offer some kind of like halfway, like, centristy, like, like, pallid fucking defense of, of, of Queen Elizabeth in any way. You're all waiting for the butt, I know. I know everyone's waiting for the butt right now. Everyone's waiting for me to go but, and then say some really fucking irritating shit. But, <laughs> it's not really a but. It's, it's actually literally not really a but. Th this is additional thought. People will find it way easier to protest a king than a 96 year old queen. People will find it so much easier. Listen, just take a moment now. Just take a moment now, at home, there's 96 of you watching, one for every every year that the world was blighted. <laughs> no, there's 96 people watching right now, at home, at work, wherever you are, in your car, I hope you're not driving, just take a moment and just try saying, fuck 
the king. Doesn't that feel amazing? Doesn't that feel easy? Doesn't that feel natural? <laughs> People fucking loved Queen Elizabeth. And King Charles III got divorced from one of the most beloved royals literally ever. Plus, plus his, his brother is allegedly a nonce. But, right, what I think is genuinely really going to do it more than anything is that in 2022, with as many people just, like, fucking sick of the monarchy as they are, it's going to be so much easier to just go, to just go, fuck the king. <laughs> Doesn't it feel good? Does it not feel fucking good to just go, Fuck the king? I think it does. I, I, I extremely think it does. Let's watch a video anyway. God save the king. Fuck the king. God save the king! Boo! Fuck the king! Let's watch this again. Declaration of God save the king met with booze in Edinburgh. God save the king! There was a 21-gun salute fired from Edinburgh Castle after that. What the fuck? What the fuck? No, look at this. That's the live footage. This is the... <laughs> That is unbelievable. King. This is the playback, right? This is the playback later in the day. God okay. The That's it live. That's literally it live. They edited it out. They edited out the fucking. They edited out the booing. Fuck. 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 Jesus Christ. Literal fake news. Yeah, Jesus Christ. <sighs> anyway, my point is Liz shook hands with Liz. And Liz <laughs> died. And then Liz shook hands with the king. Fuck the king. And now, who knows what will happen. Uh, who knows? <laughs> um, maybe, maybe, maybe she was given special instructions by her leather dom. To rub her hands in anthrax and then go and touch all of the royal family. <laughs> People have also been pointing out that, like, Charles's hands are just like sausages. Like, just the dude does not look like he's in good health. Someone was pointing out, like, the ring on his finger. I, I hope that there's a picture of it. Um, Charles' hands. What will this get me on Twitter right now? It literally got it! I did it! Hooray! Uh, fucking... <laughs> Fuck. My guy is not doing well. That's not... What the fuck is that? What the fuck is that? What the fuck is that? That's the high blood pressure of, uh... Of waiting for, like, 80 years to get to be king. And then, and then becoming king in the midst of, like, a cost-of-living crisis. And right after your brother was exposed as allegedly being a, a, a horrible fucking nonce on, Je on Epstein Island. Uh, <laughs> knowing that you will probably be the last king of England. The these are the hands of probably the last king of England. Vienna sausages. Thank you. Yes. Exactly. Exactly. 
We've talked about the Windsor jaw, but we should talk about the- we should discuss the Windsor hands more. <laughs> Do we have to say allegedly in chat too? I don't- I'm not fucking li liable for what you publish in chat. I'm just- I'm just- I'm just self-censoring. I don't wanna- I don't wanna be hit by the, uh, by the- by the online safety bill for- for posting extremist content by saying that Prince Andrew is obviously a nonce. See, that was me quoting what I wouldn't be saying. I wouldn't say that Prince Andrew is a nonce and that the Queen used taxpayer money to silence his victims. I wouldn't say that. That's a wrong thing to say. <laughs> Let's practice some speedrunning. I've only got 20 minutes. I, I wanted to practice some speedrunning. Fucking... I wanted to- I just- I just wanted to practice speed running. Uh... I... think... people will find it way easier to... to say fuck the king. I do. And I- and I think that, like, there's so much fucking else going on and going wrong for- for the monarchy right now, and it's gonna be a bad fucking time for- for- for King Charles the Third. But, I also, I also think that it, it will, like, it's a simple psychological thing. It will come down to people, people who are arguing to abolish the monarchy while Liz was still alive. It was so easily met with, like, she lived through World War II. <laughs> She's our longest reigning monarch. Have you no shame? Now some fucking hereditary dipshit is gonna have his dipshit hat his solid gold dipshit hat put on him in a special ceremony caked in gold and ermine and fucking purple dyed furs right surrounded by cardinals and members of parliament right while people are freezing to death in their homes with their children right right after chris cabo was shot to death in South London by the Metropolitan Police, right? Massive protests about that yesterday. Massive protests of the, the cost of living crisis. Truss was trying to put through, was, was in the middle of putting through a relief package for the cost of living crisis when the Queen died, when they got the news that the Queen was about, like, right about to die. And, like, <laughs> fucking in the padding, like, in the news, the news uh, cycle where they were trying to fill time because the queen hadn't died yet, but they all knew she was gonna die, so it was like, Ugh. they literally had someone on who was saying like, this is not gonna help enough. Oh, I beefed that one. That was bad. Um, they literally had someone on who was just like, this is not gonna help enough. If we, if you live below a certain line, this literally will be of no help. And if you live above that line, it will help you a little, little bit, you know? <laughs> and it's this ridiculous package that's like, it doesn't come from windfall taxes, so it, it, it's literally paying, it's literally being paid for by us. It's literally being paid for by the taxpayer, right? Massive protests of all sorts of fucking shit, and they're gonna try and stage this, oh, I'm beefing everything so badly right now. Hey, I did it. Um, and they're gonna try and pay for this. They're gonna try and use taxpayer money to pay for this fucking <laughs> dipshit crowning. Crown King dipshit. He's hereditarily good. He inherited his goodness. He is allowed to have all this money and be celebrated by everyone, and you are not because he was born better than you. The reason you and your children are starving to death, the reason that you have to choose between feeding yourself and putting money on the electricity meter this month, the reason that you have to make those fucking decisions, and he'll ha he will never have to make a decision like that in his life, with his fucking sausage fingers. <laughs> the reason that your your like everyday reality is whether to whether to buy like nutrient deficient fucking uh, uh, ready meals from Asda 
or to be able to keep the lights on. And his and his hardest decision in his life was like, do I have my ex-wife assassinated? Allegedly! <laughs> Social stop smearing my, pu my public reputation. Right. The reason there is that fucking vast dichotomy of human experience between you and him is because he was just born better than you. He was just born better than you. You were just born kind of shit, and he was just born better. No, it's gonna kick off. It's gonna kick off really bad. I think it's gonna be, I think it's gonna be an off, on again, off again with kings called Charles. On again, off again. Head on the shoulders, head off the shoulders. <laughs> I think it's gonna kick the fuck off, and I am curious to see what will happen next. I, uh, I am curious to see what will happen next. <laughs> we will see what happens next. <laughs> Chaos Merlin in chat saying, do y'all want to go protest the coronation together? I'm probably going to be out of the country. I'm not fleeing. I'm having FFS. But if there was a, if there was a contingent from the stream, a little block, <laughs> a little block at the anti, at the anti monarchy protest representing the Sophie from Mars stream, I, w I would feel touched. Do it on behalf of the real queen. Me. <laughs> God save me <laughs> as I as I as I take the night train to Yerevan to give like six thousand dollars in cash to my mildly insane Russian refugee surgeon so that she will delicately rearrange the bones in my face. God save the Sophie. League of Martian Communists? Oh, the Martians! Absolutely. 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 My followers are absolutely the Martians. Little red and black flag with a UFO on it. <laughs> Just a little red and black flag with a UFO. I don't want to get mis mistaken for Posadists, though. Good luck with the FFS. Watch the Jesse Gender video on her FFS, and she uh, she says it looks brutal short term, but she seems really happy with the results. Yeah, that's basically it. It's it's basically like a week. It's it's basically like just a week of feeling like utter dog shit. I intend to make a video about it afterwards, not of the same kind that Jesse Gender did, but just kind of talking about the systemic issues. Um, like, just, just really primarily focused on the fact that, like, the NHS doesn't offer, um, FFS, uh, as any kind of, even if you get through the whole waiting list, and on the fact that I had to <laughs> go to Armenia to get FFS, uh, and yet, you know, also, I want to, I, I do want to shout out Anna, I do want to say, like, you know, so, but for as long as it does carry on being an issue, I do consider her to be <laughs> the best in the world, and you should absolutely go travel to, to have your face did by her. Um, and she's a genius. No, she's not a genius. She told me not to call her a genius. She said, genius is not happy people. Um, her mother told her that. Um, and, uh, <laughs> sorry, Anna's so funny. Um, Dr. Anna Slutsky is the person I'm going to for FFS in two weeks. Isn't that insane? A week and a half? In a week and a half, I'm going to be waking up in a darkened Armenian hospital room, having not drunk water in like 16 hours, going like, uh, no, actually more, it'll be like, uh, because also I'll be, I'll be very weak. Um... 
uh, I want to do this video because I, I literally just want to do an ad for Anna, right? Like, I, I want to point out the ways that, the ways that, like, transition can be, the ways that the segregation of uh, trans healthcare materially affects people, and I also, at the same time, like, really want to just literally be like, everyone go to Anna for as long as this situation is not resolved, because she's, like, a third of the price of something like Facial Team in Spain, and she's based as hell and just really nice. <laughs> she's just really nice, and she understands what dolls want and what they need, more importantly, and... Uh, she's just cool. She's just fucking cool. <laughs> everyone, everyone go to, I hope, I hope, I genuinely hope that I, I get her a lot more patience, uh, as a result of making a video about it. Genuinely. Can you repeat her info so I can, I can note it down? I can, in fact, in fact, I didn't know you were into Sotsi, Sophie. It's literally the game I've played most in my life. Uh, my first YouTube video ever was about it. Um, in fact, Facemaker FFS, FacemakerMD.com, it's FacemakerMD.com is the site to go to for her full website, but Facemaker FFS is, which is her Instagram, if you want to see, brace yourselves everyone, the live stream of my FFS. <laughs> Because she live streams what she does, and so if you, it's a private uh, thing, so you have to already be following. You have to have already been accepted as a follower. But if you follow her, uh, <laughs> if you follow her, if you're following her when my surgery happens, you can see the live stream of my surgery. How fucking cool is that? So, follow Dr. Anna Slutsky at FacemakerFFS on Instagram if you want to see <laughs> eight hours of my brow and nose being carefully and intricately rearranged. Uh, and yeah, there you go. That's what you got. That's, that's what's up. Live donations to add extra bones. <laughs> yeah, that's a pretty good idea. <laughs> if you donate over a thousand dollars, then, uh, she'll just engrave your username on my bone. <laughs> will you be awake or under for it? I will be completely under. I'm sorry. What? Why would I be awake? <laughs> She's doing surgery on my face. She's peeling my face down and rearranging my skull. <laughs> I'll be under. <laughs> I will absolutely fucking be under. Listen, we don't have long left on the stream, but I will say this. If we get a hype train, if people are curious, uh, if we get a hype train, uh, before the end of the stream, I will show the, uh, the 3D images again of what my face is gonna look like, because I'm excited about it, and I'm excited to, like, to chat about it, but I like to give little stream incentives. Um, yeah, but any, also any questions that anyone has for the next 10 minutes, I'm happy to answer them. Uh, but like I said, I'll, I'll also make a little bit about it. It's kind of crazy how the segregation of trans healthcare and the creation of this situation where, like, the thing, genuinely, that I've I've heard more dolls want than anything else. Like, cis people think that we want pussies. We don't want pussies. <laughs> Some people want pussies, obviously. Some people want pussy, too. Uh, by which I mean PPV. But some people, but, like, so many people want, like, to see themselves when they look in the mirror more than anything else, and that's the most important thing. And, oh fuck, oh fuck, oh fuck, oh, I'm beefing it, oh no! Aggro, please. Uh. What was I saying? What the fuck was I saying? Genuinely, 
I've heard way more people, way more dolls I know, interested in FFS, in terms of people who are interested in surgery, because plenty, plenty of people just aren't, and that's fine. Like, uh, way more interested in FFS than, than in getting a pussy. Uh, because you want to see yourself when you look in the mirror, you know? And that's not covered by the NHS, because, and I, I really do believe this, I, I intend to put this in the video script, People, fucking cis people, right, used hormone therapy to sterilize gay men way back when, decades ago, right? They literally put, they literally put gay men on estrogen because they consider queer sexuality this horrifying threat, right? In fact, in fact, I'm letting the... I'm letting this just play on purpose right now. Do I have it on me? Yeah, look. I had to withdraw all this cash from my surgery. I got it in 50s, right? Here's Alan Turing. They put him on the 50 pound note now, right? The British government put him on the 50 pound note now. What did they fucking do to him while he was alive? Because he was gay, they put him on on hormone therapy to sterilize him, right? To sterilize him. Because queer sexuality is such a threat to them. It used to be that the like requirement for for getting medical transition at all was also to uh to be sterilized. Right? S like very recently in places like Sweden as well. Mia's talked about this. Now, the cis uh, medical institution that controls trans healthcare, remind a hype. Get me to a hype train if you want to see my uh, if you want to see my FFS uh, 3D models. Um, uh, now, the cis people who control the trans like trans healthcare institution as an institution, right? Don't let trans women have progesterone. One of the things that your progesterone ha does for you, besides giving you normal hormone levels, giving you like uh, a, a hormonal cycle akin to uh, periods, uh, reducing your risk of cancer, fucking uh, uh, letting you progress through Tanner stage five of breast development, like <laughs> mood regulation, nutrient processing, fucking fat re redistribution, all of the sort of shit you want to just be a healthy human being. Besides all of that stuff, it also makes you fucking horny, right? I don't think that's a coincidence. I don't, like, I don't think that's a coincidence at all. That, like, that, like, fucking, that fucking Alan Turing, right, was sterilized by the queerphobic government. That trans people were sterilized by queerphobic governments. That fucking progesterone is made unavailable by queerphobic governments, right? That fucking that 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 the medical procedure that changes people's genitals to be more in line with what cis het people are comfortable with in the, existing in the world, right? Eliminating queer sexuality. Uh, sorry, that's unfair to people who, who have bottom surgery. I don't mean to say it like that. Um, like, that's covered by the NHS. The thing, but the thing that, le the surgery to help people see themselves when they look in the mirror, that's not covered by the NHS, right? I think that's a pretty fucking clear-cut pattern, in my opinion. FFS absolutely should be, should, should be covered by the NHS. I think it's fucking ridiculous. Um... Anyway, anyway, sorry, I just got caught off in a little rant about that stuff while I'm trying to do this sword flip. This is the exploit I cu I'm currently up to. This is the exploit that I've currently gotten up to and I haven't yet mastered doing at all. Uh, is trying to do this sword flip, where basically I'm supposed to crouch down here, roll up the blade, and then jump. 
yeah, like that. Like I just, like I just nailed when I was decided to stop and explain it. Fuck! <laughs> and then I'm on to Gaius without having to crack his armor, which saves a ton of time, right? Sophie, what's your favorite Colossus? I have a tattoo of Gaius. Um, though my favorite favorite is Kuramori. Um, my next Colossus tattoo, I really want to like flesh out the Colossi into a let into a calf sleeve. Um, my next, the next one I'll probably add to that sleeve will be Baba, maybe? Probably, probably Baba. And then Kuramori, and then I'll probably get Phalanx, and then uh, I'm gonna add the temple into the background of all of them, and then have like Wanda on aggro running by, like way small, way down small. Oh, I've beefed this so badly. Oh, I've beefed this so bad. Beef cancelled! Fuck yes! Oh my god. Hey, is my audio bad? Or is it just divided? Is it just divided or is my audio bad, guys? Please advise. Would it be inappropriate to say this Titan looks like good boyfriend material? No, he definitely is. He is giving Edward Scissorhands vibes. 110%. He gives that like soft boy I could fix him kind of, you know? His little spiked collar, his big gentle eyes. He's so good, I love Gaius. Um, but yeah, I think Kuramori is my favorite. Um, I didn't want to start with getting a, a, a tattoo of Kuramori. Guys, it is eight. I have to wrap up the stream immediately and jump into Red Planet. I, I love you all. No, that's not true. You're strangers on the internet. But you are fun, and it's been nice to hang out, and I will see you in a while, actually, because I'm not going to stream for a whole fucking while. Um, shit, that's kind of fucked up, isn't it? I will... Be back in like a month, because I have to go for surgery. Have Everyone have a good time, and uh, let's raid into Kira chat so that we start the stream the right way. Uh, with a b bunch of people watching. Red Planet. Okay, cool. Cool, 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 cool. FaceMakerFFS on Instagram if you want to watch the live stream of my surgery. <laughs> it's pretty good, right? Okay. Uh, wait, what? Did the raid not work? Already have a ra- what is going on? Fuck this a stupid hype train is in the way of my- Oh my god. Okay, right. Now I see it. Sorry everyone, I messed that up- messed up the technicals really badly there. Uh, Facemaker FFS, go follow on Instagram if you want to see the live stream of my surgery when it happens. The surgery date- the surgery date is going to be the 22nd. Um... I'm working on some stuff about Pathologic, some stuff about Revolution, some stuff about the Forgotten City, some stuff about Mushrooms, some stuff about uh, Kaiju and Giant Myths for another Monster Man episode. So go check out patreon.com slash Sophie from Mars if you want to see all of that early, and let's go watch Red Planet just now. Okay. <laughs>